puppy. Get that. We're going this way. Oh. Oh, 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 what is it? <laughs> it's a type of. It's a type of. Uh, it's an axe. Okay. Oh, that's. It's a plant type. Yes. That you can write on. Exactly. It's made from papyrus reeds. It was the most common uh, uh, writing medium in. In the early uh, Christian era, so just, these both of these fragments date from around the third century, so 200 years right. from the Acts. Mm -hmm. You'll see that they're not in great shape right now. Um, first of all, they're quite old, but also papyrus uh, is very fragile and very brittle. And in fact, most of the time, um, people would it was cheap to make, and it you could write on it, but it didn't last very long. And most of the time, that you saw papyrus in scrolls, you probably see scrolls or yeah. them. Um, but you can imagine look, when you had uh, is this, long this is blocks the, of text, like the gospel right this? No. or something, it would be hard to have the big Act, yeah. long Yeah, no, but is this his writing? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, there's no. actually a lot no. of architectural evidence that the early Christians were the ones who sort of developed what we would now consider a book. This is called a codex. We probably don't this is more common words in the book, where they would basically stitch the papyri together on one side and uh, flip through it. And that was to help um, carry large text around. It's also useful if you want to compare one verse with another verse. You didn't have to worry about having different kinds of scrolls. So in the early Christian era, um, letters from Paul, the, what we know is the Bible didn't really exist until around the 4th century. They were all separate writings that were they try to see if, for example, they think that another fragment of um, the letter of the Ephesians from the same scribe is in, in Italy right now. And so they, they, people try to piece them together to see you know, if, how these things get separate when you're doing that. Mm. So sometimes people will look at variations and see, you know, how that got it, you know, if what's in what we would consider the Bible today, you know, the origins of that and how things were uh, passed around and copied for different people. Yeah, it definitely looks like two different handwritings, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. How is this stuff stitched? What is the ink like? It's like this thread, um, probably made from some kind of a reed and it's just a needle. It wasn't done in any, it right. didn't have to be as well. about the Bible. Um, what was I going to ask? It was something, it was something about it. I'll, I'll come to me. So now we're in the 1800s, 1820s. Color printing is new. Uh, this is one of the triumphs of showing that it could be done. Um, it took him about 13 years to get the whole project uh, together. A lot of people thought he was insane. Uh, and then it was also new because really he had he didn't have any formal education and he wasn't a scientist. Oh, it's really skinny. <laughs> Wow, Dylan. <laughs> Sorry. Don't play, don't play. I got I got a little nervous. Guys, you didn't even make it all the way. How dare you give? <laughs> 